Okay, round two. This is, a, I was saying to Ocean before we started filming, this is a slightly awkward hand because you have a good two drop and two tap lands, but because our curve is so low, I feel like we can just also, play one. Also, by playing one tap land, we can play two of the cards in our hand. Exactly. Like, we'll, we'll fit in the Windscar Crag. Yeah. We'll fit in at some point because our curve is so low. We'll, yeah. Like, on turn three, we'll play a Morph, and on turn four, we'll play this guy. And yeah, we'll draw something. Pro player, pro player OT. Hmm. Okay, it's fine. It's pro player of the year. I don't think it is. I don't think the, t- the title is just player of the year. I think it's it? just some dude. I'll be honest. I don't think he's either. You're going to be things. embarrassed when this is like Reduke or Josh Everlane or something. I don't know if either of them run up one bro. Two. Oh, God. That's a good card. It's fine. He didn't really get the blow up because he didn't morph it. Play the Leaping Master. Or do we debilitating injury? Do we do the Bolt the Bird strategy? This is better than a bird. I think we bolt the bird here. Okay, debilitating injury it is. And then next turn we play the tapped land and leaping master. Because uh, the horde chief doesn't have any value because we haven't raided. Well, it has value. It's three mana two three. Like which is fine. Nothing wrong. It's with super it, yeah. good in a morph set actually. Yep. Oh, beautiful. So leaping master with the windscar crag. Mm-hmm. Beta at the camp. We got our two dudes. Yeah, yeah. Dad boys. Just, opponent, need, just need to iron up Bondkin. Our opponent needed that. Seems like it, yeah. Maybe he needed it for red. Oh, if he needed it for red. He seems to be the same... For, oh, you got a thing. Oh, fine. I'm kind of okay with that. Means we just yeah. play this next turn instead of red. red. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good. So just play Abzan Battle Priest. Yeah, probably, right? Yeah. 3-2 three, fights a 3-3 three, three pretty well. I think we start countering things up, though. I think we're playing the long game here. I think we play Battle Priest. I think we play Battle Priest, though. Or do we play Nightblade? Nah, play Battle Priest. Either way, next time we play the other one and... Outlast the first one. Outlast the first one. Yeah. Or do we attack and Horde Chief? If he attacks, we take it and attack back and Horde Chief, right? We attack back with... um, It depends on what his said post-battle combat play is, I I suppose. Like, oh, like, this is a reasonable... Th- okay, he didn't do anything. Okay, so what we do here is we... We just scoured Baron's Nightblade, right? No, because we can Nightblade out last if we play this. Okay, let's do that then. Like, we will absolutely be able to fit this in. Uh-huh. Like, next turn. Yeah, when yeah. we play the other two spells. Let's do that then. Still off as red. Assuming this was not just an elf. Or green blue, which is totally reasonable. It probably is. Like, it fixes green-blue. So you think it's in Sultai? Why is the counter all weird? Oh, the counters are right aligned What is now. Weave Fate? Yeah, it's Inspiration. Oh, okay. The counters are right aligned now. Why? I don't know. I don't think I don't like it either. It looks weird. It's to move it out of the way of the card art. Art? Yeah, which is pretty reasonable, so you can identify cards at a glance. Oh, is this a big delve thing? No, it's just a 3-4. Good old Abomination! It's a good card. It's very good. Let's you loot and stuff. This trades for it, though. Attack in? No, because it trades for this, too. So mm-hmm. Outlast, Outlast? Outlast, Outlast, Leaping Master. Okay. And Barons. Mm-hmm. That all works out, yeah. Ooh. Careful. Not that it will make one lick a difference, but no. still. I don't like licking differences that much. Like, he wants to attack with that to get the loot on. Get your loot on. Get, get, your, your, get your loot on. He's doing it. Now, we can leap both our masters and smash with everything? Yeah. It, well, no, he has... Well, he doesn't have reach because he doesn't have a counter on it yet. He has to tap it to do that. And, like, like these... Because these have death touch now, so they'll trade for anything. Mm. Even with tricks. Unless we'll, gain tricks. Some, we'll, we'll race harder than him. We'll yeah. gain eight life. This is another one of those. It's a little annoying, but... Ooh. Wait, what? I don't know what that does. Oh, it's like a whip. He gets a flying, trample, haste, rattleclaw mystic. That's pretty good. Do we want to... I think we want to just attack with... We can't attack with this. Why not? Oh, it has death touch, actually. Yeah, we everything has death touch. I think we attack with both of these. I think we jump one of our leaping masters... Attack with everything. And then play the Horde Chief. Yeah, don't attack with the second Leaping Master. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Let's just do this now, it doesn't really matter. Or do we want to save a Leaping Master to, to leap more. and block a good old Abomination? No, we don't no. want to chump it. Okay. Let him. Although looting's pretty good with this guy. Yeah. 
look, look, we gain a ton of life here. We at least trade for this thing. Yeah, if, if he wants to. He can't. He can do nothing with this. Yeah, I'll jump. We gain eight life. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're attacking for ten here. Yeah. We're going to follow up with the Horde Chief. Tradesies. Make the guys lose lifelink. That seems okay. Imagine okay if we had Feet of Resistance here. Oh my god, the blow ads. You know? Yep. But we, alas, we do not. So we only have Death Touch now. Hmm. Which is fine. That's yep. the more relevant of the two abilities. Like, we're on 28. Our cushion's big enough, I think. Yep. We need Trumpet Blast now. It's going to hit us with the Abomination. That's fine. He lost his guy. That was his, his like, value. Well, no, looting is still good. Yeah, but this, but like looting with this is the real value, you know? Mm. He dished a land. That's probably bad for us. Got five cards in hand. Yeah. We've kind of blown our load here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Morph. Whatever. Okay. Could be anything. What was that? Oh, he got a guy back to his hand. Don't even want to play that Valley Dashi. No, we can play both combat. It's not even that good, though. No, we don't play it. What we probably do is probably jump the two Leaf Masters and attack with this, because it's traced with those two. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's Death Touch. No, it has Death Touch, yeah. So attack with the other three of those, yeah. Jump the two guys? Yeah. Could attack with the two, three. Oh, no, we can't attack with the two, three. Nah, because he just eats it with this. High Sentinels would be a great draw. That'd be unbelievable, because we have a million mana. Mm -hmm. We get this gift stuff Death Touch. But I mean, look, we make a profitable attack for se seven here. Mm. What, like, yeah, what do you want? Like, like we're getting to the point where Trump Trumpet Blast is just going to kill him. In theory, yeah. Like, he's got the card advantage, but we're on 25. Very aggressive. Why are you attacking with that? We can double block with the token and the... Let's not. He knows that now. Yeah. That's a great draw. It's okay. We just pass here? I think players. we attack with the, with the Death Toucher. You can trade it for his morph and his squad. That seems fine. Yeah. Go in with the death touch. And then play the scavenger. Yep. Might as well play it. Yeah, no, agreed. It's either trades for his best thing or his two... He must have something here. I have to imagine. It's going to be a murderous cut or something. But Which we couldn't play around then. No. Chimpsies? Oh, he's going to morph it up. Okay. It should still trade, though. Yeah. There's no real way it doesn't. They could give... Could they, um, the first red? striker is a 3-3. Three, three. And red... Fire three, yeah, we trade. Yeah, we trade. That's fine. Drop our flyer. Mm -hmm. We can do. We just cast it. Yeah, absolutely. No reason to do anything. Fine. So we could play our Valley Dash. It doesn't do very I much. I don't really want to. Well, it'll be good if we draw a trumpet blast because it has haste, so we can just get an extra body down. Yeah, yeah. But and at that, at this point, that's what we will have. What six attackers? That's yeah, but we don't. Awesome. We don't. No, because no, table, of course, it just immediately dies. But it's actually not a bad card to have in our hand. I guess. If a trumpet blast comes off the like top. We can just yeah. cast our pony wax here. That's pretty good. Another morph, whatever. Yeah. Just Speaking cast it. Speaking of. Just cast it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, We can actually morph and flip. No reason to do that. There's, there's no additional value from that. It's am damage he isn't expecting. He might waste a removal spell on it thinking it's scary. Okay. In which case we flip in response. I'll buy that. And, you know? Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we can flip it. I mean, I guess there's no reason not to. It's not like we're going to get blown out. No. Because you can't respond to the morph. Yeah, there's no real way we get blown out here. Plus, I think this way, if he attacks... Oh, is he flipping his morph or is he trying to kill our thing? I believe he's flipping his morph. During your end step to give you more mana? Okay. Oh, yeah, he got that back with his return thing, of course. Yeah, sure. Icy Blast. That'd be rough. Oh, that's not scary that's at all. That's big. It's chumpable, doesn't it? Trample. Oh, we can't counter it, though. Like, if he gets reckless here... I I, I love that that thing has pri prowess. It's so it can beat itself in the mirror match. Is that a thing? Yeah. In, like, constructed, because they thought it was going to be constructed by him. My thinking here is, the other argument for doing it this way, mm. is if he overextends here, between the three tokens we get off this and the valley dash, we might be able to just kill him. True, true, true. Block with the 1-1 one, one soldier? We're on 25, I think we just take, take it. Take the damage? I think we just take it, we're on 25. We are on 25. If we go to 19, like, whatever. Yeah. More fun end step. Oh, yeah. In case of trumpet blasts. In case of, I think we might just kill him. Uh-huh. We can mats it. 
currently has three blockers, likely to have four, possibly like reason likely to have five. We know he has that thing that lets him bring stuff back. Which means we're gonna to want to close this out sharpish, to be honest. Okay. Oh, you can look at our pony back brigade. We can respond by morphing it. Like, I want to look at that. You can't. You can't fire me. I quit. At last, that's bad for you, buddy. That is pretty bad for you. Don't want to get those blockers. Oh, end step. So we know one of those cards is that creature. Which creature? The one that he got back. The guy that lets him do stuff. Sorry. The guy that you can pay to in a black to, because he got it back with this, didn't he? Yeah, he got that and this guy back. Oh yeah, it's yeah, the guy right. that uh, I can't remember what it was called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lichlord. That's the one. End step morph. Uh, quick, Matt's while I do this. Oh, God. Uh, he blocks... There. There. And there. Remember the Valley Dasher? Oh, yeah. There, there, and there. We get in for four. Eight. I think we kill him. If he doesn't have anything, we kill him. We know what one of those cards is. If we don't kill him, we put him in a position where we're extremely likely to kill him. Next Wait, time. no, we don't. He has three blockers. Yeah, but he can return the Pearl Lake Ancient to his hand and recast it, can't he? Or does that take... It's seven. It's seven, there's no way. Well, he has six. Yeah, but then he can't use this as a blocker. That's true. So he, anyway, he has three blockers. He blocks one, two, two three. three. He yeah. takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A Valley Dasher, ten. Nine, ten. Yeah, let's just go for it. Right? I think so. I think that's lethal. Play the Valdash now, so we have to go for it. <laughs> um, I think we just go for it. I feel like we... Three like, blockers. One, a two, a two, and a three. Like, if, if his other card in hand is a kill spell... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Ten. It's ten. Right. How, much, how much can he hit us back for? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Not even lethal. Okay, well then go for it. Like, if he doesn't have... It's put him to the test. If he doesn't have a kill spell, we win. Mm -hmm. Do we give our guys flying? Might as well. Why? So that this, so he has to block one of them with this, and it can't block the three drop with it. He doesn't have to block one of them. It's exactly the same blockers. Oh, because there's other two power stuff he can block. Yeah. All right. Deal with this. Like if he if he doesn't have a kill spell, we win. It doesn't look like he had a kill spell. That's lethal. That is lethal. He would block like that if he had a kill spell as well. Ah, murderous cut. Yeah. Blind oh! Oh! oh my god! Who fucking. Oh, we got wrecked! Who main decks fucking we blinding spray? We got wrecked! Who main decks blinding spray? He does, we got wrecked! What a moron! No, what a genius! We just got wrecked! Nah, it's just bad. We got destroyed just now by a blinding spray, and there's nothing we can do about it. Why aren't you swinging? We can still kill him. We can still kill him. We can't actually anymore. We can't with like Trumpet Blast. But I think we can still kill him with Trumpet Blast. That's brutal. God, God. Carolich Lord. Yeah, yeah. It has to be. Yeah, it's the last card left. Yeah. I don't think we can. How many attackers do we have? We only only one gets in. In theory. Otherwise, we trade for most of his board. I feel like we go. We for trade it. for literally all of his board except for the four four. The four fours and the three four. The four fours will lead tokens. Yeah. So go for it. Like he either dies or he loses a bunch of He's stuff. He's gonna kill us very sharpish otherwise. Yeah, we probably should go for it. That blind spray. That's sweet. That's how magic is played. It's cards you don't expect. So annoying. Now, if he plays around Trumpet Blast, shame. But if not, that's not playing around Trumpet Blast. No. Also not playing around Trumpet Blast. If he lets a two drop, you know, he has to block with everything here. This is lethal. Super lethal. It's still lethal? Exactly, though, lethal. No, it's not lethal. Oh! He's <sighs> playing around Trumpet Blast. He's not really. The trade for his entire board. We don't trade for the 4-4. Four four. This one? No, we don't. But we do trade for everything, everything else. else. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. He still has that big uh, uh, fuck off. Pearl like Ancient. Pearl like yeah. Ancient, yeah. But this seems pretty advantageous for us. Oh, no, it doesn't. Wait, that was terrible. <laughs> I think we had to do it, but still, we're boned. We're, we're boned pretty quick anyway. I suppose we could chump for a while and then help draw into the Ponyback Brigade. I think our best bet there was him screwing up. Now we're dead. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Something big. Why are you showing us this huge thing? Oh, he's giving his thing vigilance. Oh, fine. I guess you might as well do that. Why, did, Why did he tap an extra mana? I don't know. Miscount? Not dead, but we can't win. No, we can't win. Um, might as well play it. Yeah, he just attacks with both here. We have to double jump. If 
we then draw... No, we have to... Yeah, we have to double jump. There's nothing we can draw. We have to then draw, like, back-to-back -back pony back brigades. And even then we're jumping for a while. We have to draw back-to-back -back pony back brigades and then another trumpet blast. And he has to draw club effectively nothing. Yeah, we know he's got mm. three lands in hand. Two lands in hand, I should say. Um, and two lands, one unknown. And whatever this is. So now we just die. Okay. Yeah, we are dead. Okay. Man! Oh, the fucking blinding spray. Blinding spray. Um, Sideboards. Active, active treason. treason. And not trumpet Wait, blast. no, he, active treason isn't that great. Because he can return to his hand? Yeah. He can his the biggest thing. He can see abomination of Gadul and stuff, and his other guy. Yeah, that's kind of cute, I guess. Um, what do we not want? Probably... Salt Desk I don't know. It's a bit too clunky. Yeah. Maybe one of these. I don't know, I like two drops against him. Probably not still, no. Get something through. Hmm. I feel like Scavenger is probably the way to go. Why? He has a lot of flyers. He's got the 3 4. He's got the 4 4 Reacher that when it outlasts. Okay. I don't feel like it's great. And it's also just too high curve. Okay. God, that was brutal though. So good. That's three lands, remember. That is pretty oh, good. Cast this on I think you just keep that, right? Yeah, yeah. Awkwardly, Ascendancy on turn 3 doesn't do a ton. It will. Eventually. You can attack, get some of this thing, get a goblin, play this, do something else. Outpost on turn 2, yeah. So now we have our fourth land. Mm -hmm, which is important. Maybe we play Nightblade on turn 4. You need to have an untapped land to do that. Oh, there Perfect, it is. okay. So Ascendancy now. I have to play a Swamp. For doesn't me. actually matter. No, it doesn't, you're right. Red. White, black, more descendancy, say go. And what's a good draw here? He plays a morph, we draw value dash it. That'd be pretty nice. That'd be sweet. Well, he just beats the goblin. No, because he debilitating injuries morph. That's cute. Okay, I like that. If this is a morph, we snap injury. It snap injury that. Yeah. Play it as well? I feel like that's a good play. However. Yeah. Next. Because no, we want to we wanna trigger. No, 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 no. no. If we play this this turn and morph yeah. this, next turn we can reveal this, make something unable to block, cast this and this. Okay, but we're not killing his morph. I'm aware, but he's unlikely to morph it next turn. Well, he also can't have a five morph exactly. cast next turn, so debility injury will still kill it next turn. Exactly. In theory. So I think we do my play. Yeah, okay. I'll buy that. Gets us a goblin token, sets us up for getting more. The only one injury doesn't kill next turn is the three one that gives something hexproof because it can give itself hexproof. That's fine, though. Mm. Uh, cast face down... Like next turn's gonna be. And there's synergy for days. Like I don't care about losing that thing. No. Plus we get a goblin token. Please like Tycom scheming or something. Ah. So he got us right back. That's fine. Three drop, please. Pretty good. Yeah. Morph that kill the thing. Yeah. I like it. Can't be the thing, the hexproof guy anymore. Cost three to flip. Yeah. Can't be a straight counter spell. Sadisi's pet. Yeah. It's an O2 lifelink. Yeah, that's fine. Whoop do you do? Morph. It's a minus one, two. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, depending on what he plays here, it might be better to attack with our morph guy to trigger the ascendancy and the raid on our guy. Yeah. Depending on what this is, this five three. Ugh. So we can attack. Nah. Then, we can attack and flip it. Flipping it doesn't do anything. Flipping gives us three goblins. Yeah, but there's no reason to attack if that's the play. I think we pass. I think we master. No, we we nightblade. Or do we flip it? Do nah, we just nightblade. Why? Develop the board a bit more. Well, developing the board includes flip flipping it as developing the board. I don't know. I feel like the night play is a better play. Call it intuition. I think we flip it. The next one we attack with 
Yeah, you know, the goblins. The goblins don't trigger your I know, but they trigger raid. Okay. Let's do this. Or we should just do this and this and maybe even this. I don't know. I don't like it that much, but I'm willing to go with it if you think it's better. Why do you think this is better? I don't know. It just feels better. That's not a good person. <laughs> <laughs> just feels better. Do you care about a Ponyback Brigade after we flipped it? No, not really. So we, but I don't really want to throw it away. We also can't flip it and, and do the shrieker, yeah, so. cast anything meaningful. So we, we just get pass. a goblin. If you if you want to do the flip, we just pass. Yeah, you're right. Let's do that. Because yeah, we get a goblin, but we lose a two two. If he attacks this, we make a goblin jump it. Trade goblin. Uh, we can also make Double. goblins sack ascendancy. That's pretty good. Oh, there's a little one. That's awkward. If we make goblins sack ascend or. I don't think we sack the We could even make goblins block with three of them. Well, if we're going to block with creatures, we block with the Ponyback Brigade, I think. Ponyback Brigade and the Goblin? That yeah. seems pretty good, actually. Save two goblins? Yeah. There's I love that does the... One of them is trigger raid. We don't have regular attacks next turn, though, so... Yeah, okay. That seems okay, doesn't it? Yeah. Throw away one of these to get all this happening. Think we can cast all three of those? No. This costs one. With raid? Yeah. One, two, three, four, one, we don't have enough. Okay, just swing with a goblin. Mm -hmm. Side note, those goblin tokens are adorable. Hmm. Yep, fine. Huh? Keep our goblin. <laughs> yeah. Didn't want to risk it. That's fair. That seems totally fair. We could have, like, ride down. Mmm, nah, that'd be a blowout. Okay. Doesn't matter. Black. Right blade. Now we attack, we get two more goblins. Yeah, but we also attack th Oops. two things that dive into the 4 4. Even with the ascendancy? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. I don't love our position here. Hmm. Oh, that's scary. That's not good. No. Play the Leaping Master. We will have the only flyer if we play the Leaping Master. We will trigger this repeatedly. Mm -hmm. Got sending goblins to the doom because the goblins end up attacking. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter. I lost our guy. Yeah, that seems good. Makes him a reasonable attacker next turn. He needs to tap black for yeah, that. Yeah, there we go. Fucking blinding spray. It was really good. No, I'm annoyed. Why? It's a bad card. It did Oh, he gets a 5-3 trample. He does, yeah. Trample and whatever the other thing Flying was. and haste. Haste. God. It goes away at the end of the turn. Yeah, but we just hits his domes us for five. Sure. I guess he has to pay some mana for it, but... Ugh. Fine. Ugh. Doesn't matter. Ow. Yeah, it's fine. Doesn't really do much, but it's a 3-3. Three, three. What we can do here is mm -hmm. attack and sack the Ascendancy to eat this. That doesn't seem good. Seems like a waste of an Ascendancy. That's true. Just attack. I'll trade for the Ascendancy. Attack with this? It's got Death Touch. However, it'll trade for these two morphs. I'm fine with that. That's seems reasonable, actually, doesn't it? Just, yeah, so swing with those two. Dump the guy and swing with, the, swing with them both. Give Flying a... Uh, we can play our guy as well. Mm -hmm. Make two goblins. Yeah, but the goblins just run into the morph or something. Well, in theory, yeah. Hmm? Can you auto-place those on the stack? Is that a thing? No. You have to just, I think you have to decide which order they come in. in. Okay. Nope. He knows about Jump and Blast. Yeah, it's, this is super scary for him, actually. Well, doesn't care. It's playing around Jump and Blast a little bit. Is that okay? I'm fine with this. Trade the Wind Scout. Mm, hit, get him for hit, three. Hit him for three. Play our guy and awkwardly pass. Mm -hmm. Need a Trump and Blast. Or a High Sentinels. High Sentinels would also be sweet, because we can give our Goblins Death Touch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess his thing back. Gets to hit us for two. 
Yeah, it's not mad. Does relevant? It doesn't have mad. Oh, now he does. I was going to say to do the big morphs. I don't remember what his morphs were from the last game. Oh, that's one of them. He's very good. He's pretty decent, yeah. Need to draw a hard piercer for that. Yeah, that'd be a decent draw. <clears throat> so swing with the death toucher. I'm a psycho. Path? No, psychic. That's the word, Dennis. <laughs> oh. <coughs> yeah. Do we swing with other stuff too? Uh, Just the three threes. Yeah, right? Yep. We can swing with the goblins as well. Goblins don't do anything. Well, with three other goblins, they're going to get in. Just throwing away goblins, though. I guess. I think I'd well. almost rather kill that stupid mystic, though. It's a three uh, two the, Yeah, I know. I think this way we set ourselves up for some nice trumpet blasting. <sighs> yeah, trumpet blast would be a great draw. Okay. I mean. We'll heart pierce it through that, yeah. I mean, you just take seven here. Yeah. <laughs> you know? When we get the heart piercer, his. It's gonna Lich be. Lord. Do we kill the, We do kill the Lich Lord because even like, if we kill that thing, he just gets liches it back. it back. Yeah, it's again. So we do kill the Lich Lord. You're right. Yeah, it, it, it keeps the clock finite. Yeah, we. Um, I mean, we don't have another answer for that thing. You're aware of that. Yeah, I know. We have debilitate. We don't even have debilitating injury anymore. No. We don't have an answer for that mystic. The life linker. The, oh, that'd uh, be last, good. Outlast that life linker. Just to get us. Back into the race. Like, yeah, I mean, like it, we, it makes our three death, three power death toucher race into, that thing. Yeah, but I mean, look at this, eleven nine. Take three, but if we bash with everything next turn, you're in bad shape because we get three more goblins. Uh, I think we die if we bash with everything. I think he does too, though. Matt's. We don't know what's in his hand. No. It could be that blinding spray again. God. I think we keep back a goblin to block the morpher, so we don't die in the crackback. We don't die in the crackback anyway, but we could. Mm -hmm. We go boom, 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 boom. Do we keep back two in case of removal? Yeah, okay. Get three more goblins, like... Yeah. Oh, does this work? I don't know. It's magic online. Oh, there we go. <coughs> Ascendancy is pretty good. Turns oh, out there's a spray. He's doing it at the wrong time. Oh, it's this thing. Okay. That's not that bad at all. Uh, we close to die. Oh, we can block it. Good thing I left this back. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how we win, I'll be honest. I'm going to one off these. Oh, that's a lot. Of damage? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Go to two? Well, he knows he's dead to trumpet blast. So it doesn't really matter how he blocks, yeah. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. So we're dead to removal. Uh, we are not, in fact, dead to removal. We have two blockers. We're dead to this having more than two power. Oh, no, no, we have two blockers. Yeah. We're dead to both of those things. We're dead true. to both of those things happening, yeah. It has to be efficient removal because we can sack <coughs> Mardu Ascendancy to... It can't be, like, yeah, damage-based. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That worked out pretty well for us. I'm okay with I'll that. I'll go to one, sorry. So, if we survive this turn, we win? Oh, easy. Unless he has Blinding Spray. God. We don't attack with everything next turn. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter because of this. Yeah, if he has Blinding Spray, we die. Hmm. Unless we have Trump Blast. No. I don't believe that matters. It's minus oh, four, Oh, this guy will do the one. <laughs> yeah. So he has to not block it. Which I can't see him doing. So this is probably a morph? Or it could be a removal spell. Still both hitting injury, we're okay, because we pop this and our guy lives till the end of the turn. Uh-huh. Savage Punch. So he, he needs, it needs to be a morph with two or less power, which I don't believe there are many of. Oh, he did it on the this guy. That's fine. Oh, wait, we die. No, now we die, yeah. We actually just die. Yeah. Oh, well, well, that happens. I couldn't have played around that, could I? No. No, there was no way to play around that. Damn it. Leaving back three goblins, I guess. But no, even then. Yeah, it would need to be three goblins. 
So we're leaving back three goblins was correct. I don't know. I didn't actually. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, we had him. Um, so we had the savage punch. We had him. We had him dead the following turn. Stupid blind. Right? I All think right. if we had left back three goblins, we survived on one. Um. Yeah, we would have. But I don't know what reason to kill them. Mm -hmm. Probably should have done the maths on that before we swung out. Well, the maths was we didn't we did we we, uh, we didn't expect to have removal and a thing that pumped his guy simultaneously because only had one card in hand. And yeah. he, he drew a card. Mm -hmm. Oh well. GG. GG. On to game three. Awaken the bear. We just die. Same with becoming. On bears. to round three. Stop. Stop post morteming.